Well, good morning. I'm reading from the book of Romans this morning. How important is faith in our walk with God? Well, it's absolutely essential. And in Romans chapter 10 and verse 17, the Bible says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. What is faith? Faith is to, is to hear the word of God and to believe it, and then to act upon what God has said to us in his word. I mean, think about it. You remember the time that Noah came to God and said, Hey God, I've got an idea. I'm going to build a boat. You send a flood. You save my family and wipe out everybody else on the planet. You remember that? No, we don't remember that because that's not what happened. Noah did not speak the flood into existence. And it was not his idea. Noah heard God. And God told Noah to build the boat. God told Noah that he was going to bring a judgment. And God told Noah to put his family and the animals into the ark. And that was the word that Noah heard. And he believed that. And he acted upon what God had told him. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. You remember that time Abraham came to God and he said, Hey God, I've got an idea. I'm going to leave my home. I'm going to go to a whole new place and I'm going to walk up and down in it and you're going to give me all of that. And then Abraham spoke that into existence and that's what happened. You don't remember that? Well, the reason we don't remember that is because that's not what happened. Abraham was, he grew up in, in uh, Ur of the Chaldees, a, a place of, of ungodliness. And one day he heard the voice of God. And God said, Abraham, leave your home, your family, and your father's people, and go to a land that I'll show you, and I'm going to give it to you and to your descendants after you. And so he obeyed and he went. <clears throat> it took him a while, but he made his way there. And once he made his way there, once again he heard the word of God and he said, walk up and down in the land. Everywhere that your foot trods, I'm going to give it to you and to your people. Abraham heard the word, he believed the word. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Or you remember that time Moses came to God and he said, hey God, I got an idea. You use me to be a leader and you bless these plagues that I've dreamed up that I'm going to bring on Pharaoh. I'm going to go in, I'm going to hold up my stick and, and turn the water into blood and fill everything with frogs and lice and all of these different hailstones and darkness. And then finally, I'm going to ask for you to kill all the firstborn <coughs> in the land. Uh, you don't remember that story. Well, of course you don't remember that story because that's not what happened. Moses, he, he tried to do it on his own. He decided he was going to stick up for the Israelites had to run. God had to put him on the backside of the wilderness for 40 years to get Egypt out of him so that he could get him ready. And then he said, okay, now it's time. You go back and you tell Pharaoh, let my people go. And he's not going to, but each time I'm going to bring another plague on his land because of his obstinate and hard heart. And Moses heard the word of God, he believed the word of God, and he obeyed. Now think about us. We come to the New Testament. We hear the message of Jesus Christ. We hear that we're sinners, and apart from Christ, we're lost. But if we'll trust Christ, he'll save us. That's faith. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. It doesn't matter what you and I dream up and bring to God. What matters is that you and I hear the word of God and believe it. Faith is when we hear God's word. If we're going to hear God's word, we need to put ourselves in a position where we can do just that. Hey, I encourage you today, get into the word of God. Tomorrow's Sunday, whatever your situation is, go to church. If that means logging in, log in. If you're able to go, go. Get somewhere where somebody preaches the Word of God. It's absolutely essential. God bless you. I hope you have a good day.